Now, since the passing on of takeoff from the Migos, people have constantly said that Quavo must be taking it the hard way because not only was takeoff his groupmate and not only were they related, but in my own opinion, they were also friends. So finally, Quavo decided to pen a very emotional message on Instagram and I am going to read. I'm going to try and keep it um, less emotional. I'm going to try and keep my emotions on track. But honestly, this is just so touching. He wrote and I'm going to read. Dear Take, it's so hard to tell you I'ma miss you because you're always with me. And when we and we did everything together. Since we were kids, you've been by my side, looking up at me, them eyes waiting on me to make the next move. Then you followed up right behind me. You always made sure I did it first so you can do it with me. You never competed with me. We were always on the same team. You hated playing against me because I was always playing too hard or too rough. Then I can hear my mama say, son, not too rough because I didn't like to lose. Remember our first dream was to be a tech team tech team partners in wrestling we fell in love with wrestling men we had every action figured out we thought we was going to be pro wrestlers because the way we imitate imitated all the wrestlers so good and if you know take his imitation skills are to the t he could imitate anybody just ask danny and p super quiet though quietest in the room but paid attention to every everything going on in the room always been like that nothing ever really bothered tech and he didn't bother anybody he almost un he he's the most unbothered person in the world he never got mad he never raised his voice and when he did he silenced the room because what tech said was law you guys honestly this is just so touching and i i can't even begin to imagine what quavo is going through i can't you guys it's just so sad just you know reading this entire thing it, it's it's so touching i i, I oh, wow i i can't even begin to fathom what he's going through i'm just going to continue re reading um and he wasn't changing his mind for now not even Aunt could you just gotta let them cool off for about 30 minutes but by far the funniest person in the room once you got him going he wouldn't stop and last but not least he took time with everything we called it the take the take of time whenever we would be running late to the shows he always said god will get us there on time some shows god did some shows we were late point is he trusted god though Throughout this whole time, he had a real passion for music. It was his dream to become a rapper because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I tried everything, all the sports. After every game, I would come home and he would just sit there playing the game with the controller in his hand looking and look at my face and he could tell we lost another game. So sports wasn't his thing because he saw me lose all the time. This is how I knew he was going to be a rapper. Growing up, he knew every song of the Hot Boys album, every lyric, word for word, and he was cursing up a storm mama had him rapping took the cd and said that music was too grown for us until we won the boys and girls club talent show together performing get your role on by the big timers it was all good then so it's safe to say we had something going then it came easy to us when it came to style and swag we were always looking like somebody because our mama dressed us like rappers or grown men as you can see in the pictures our clothes were huge but we had the look then he created this triplet flow and the rest was history he never worried about uh, titles credit or what men got the most shine that wasn't him we did he didn't care about none of that as long as we brought it back home for the family this time this whole time i've been trying to figure out what you really are to me because nephew wasn't it we hated that word nephew or when they said uncle and nephew because we always knew we were way closer than that and it made me feel all old too. But I knew you weren't my brother because you're my sister's son so I couldn't say brother. Now I finally get it. You are our angel. Watching me and watching us this whole time in living form, making sure everyone felt your love and hugs while you're here. And you made our dreams come true. Whenever you spoke it, it manifested. When you said God gonna do it, he did it. I'm just proud to be in your life. I'm proud to be your uncle. I'm proud we saw the world and done things we couldn't ever imagine together. We loved way more than we ever argued. 
And when we did, I always was in the wrong every time. I guess mama made that route too. I'm proud to say I've seen your blessings. I've seen you bless me. You blessed mama. You blessed Shara. You blessed Treat, Heaven and Zeke. You will continue to send your blessings down from heaven. And I will continue to keep your name alive as long as I live. It's always my responsibility to look after my nephews and nieces. I will do that before we make moves or any decision. We're going to always say what would take things. Always being a nun going to change. Me and you knew we're going to always be with each other for life. And just like now, we're going to see each other again. I love you with all my heart. Um, I will never leave you. I guess God just ain't need my help. So can you ask him for me what I got to do to be with you again in a place where there is no pain, no demons, no jealousy, no envy, no greed. Whatever we have to do, God, to be at that place of paradise and send us the twos. Now, cause we want to be with take. Love you, nephew. You guys, this was just so heartbreaking. I'm just going to quickly say it was... It was just so emotional for me to even read this. Um, My prayers uh, towards Quavo because really no amount of um no amount of words are going to be enough to comfort him and yeah this is just so sad you guys um rest in peace